All right, guys, today Jasmine's coming with me. We're gonna go diagnose and uh, replace a couple parts on this engine. Sonic 1.4 turbo. Hey, man, how's it going? Good. This is, yeah. So, this is the car. Because it's tur turbo. Yeah, it's turbo. Turbo, yeah. See? Turbo, yeah. Because this thing has a code P0171 beam condition. We're gonna have to uh, replace this valve cover because the PCB valve is uh, built in. And then this uh, port solenoid right here. All right, let's uh, change them. So first we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna be taking out this uh, valve cover here. So just clean up what's around the valve cover. And then it's easy to take out all these bolts. We're gonna be changing the valve cover because of a uh, PCB valve in here that failed because of this code P0171. This, this is the PCV valve right here I'm talking about. So we're gonna be changing that. Same thing with the purge solenoid. We're gonna be changing that over there. I asked the guy that owned this vehicle if it's been changed when he bought this. Yeah, he's been driving this for like four years and he said it's never been changed before. So this is a 2011 Sonic with a 1.4 engine. So let's start taking all this up above cover apart all right so we're gonna go quickly take out this harness out here vacuum line around the area after that we're gonna take out the bolts so this little clip here we're gonna pull it out all right so taking out this plastic bracket right here that attached to the side of the about cover there's a little tabs that push it in and then just pull this whole bracket upward and then it's loose like that now everything is free around the valve cover double check all right it's good so we're gonna be taking out this uh, torque right here for the ignition coil All right, so we have a little bit of a problem taking out this uh, ignition coil. One of the boot, one of the boot in here, it start ripping. So I had to be careful taking this out. So I'm thinking of taking the whole valve cover to get it with the coil. Daddy, are you famous? No. All right, so let's start taking out the valve cover. So this coil is gonna go together with the valve cover. Metric eight on this gonna crack them loose and then we'll zip them off right after all right guys so all the bolts are super loose now this whole thing will come out nice and easy so just be careful with this area right here make sure it's underneath the bulb cover all right see see what i meant right here this engine is so super hot hey he just came from work I'm surprised this engine looks clean. So, I'm gonna try to get that boot out and then uh, we'll put some lube in here. A little bit of lube when we install it. Cause it's so dry, so dry. I'm gonna take out that rubber. Or you know what, just leave it there. It should be okay. Let's get the new part in. All right guys, here we go. There's a third solenoid right there, part number. And here's the valve cover, brand new GMC. So the problem on the old one is uh, the vent solenoid. See, there's a new one right there. Yeah. This is, this is what happened to fail. 
All right, so make sure to uh, take this from the old valve cover. Put it in. All right, so make sure uh, two on top, two on the bottom tabs right here, and there's this one on the outside. That's what we want, outside. And then it goes in like that. All right, this is ready to install. All right, guys, there we go. This is ready to go installed on the engine. So just be careful. Uh, leave the gasket in there. The gasket is not, is fine. Just make sure to get all this uh, harness out in the way. Line her up. Double check everything. Make sure it's nice and seated, right? All right, guys. So the torque spec on those bolts are 71 inch pounds, and of course, forgot to uh, bring my torque spec. Make sure nice and snug, and then the next day, I'm gonna torque it next time and the right spec. So here's the pattern right here. Starting from this side, going across, okay? And then work your way out. All right guys, so uh, just gonna give a little bit of couple spin, make sure it's nice and seated on the head. And then we're just gonna tight this bolts down nice and snug. Uh, I was gonna use a impact, make sure it's setting number one. It's not too crazy. So let's go start from number one, two, and three. That's the for pattern. That's the pattern that we're gonna follow. So this is the number one, okay? Don't get too crazy. Four is next, and five. Seven and eight. That's nine, ten, and eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Then the last one right here. All right, so we're just gonna quickly snug this up. Okay, I don't have a torque wrench, so. Alright guys, so we're just gonna run a ratchet here, make sure we didn't miss anything. So I'm just gonna go run it, give a little bit of a twist on each of those bolts, nice and snug. And this side, and after that, it should be good. All right, there we go. Nice and snug now. And we're gonna put the coil back in there. All right, so we're on a time crunch right now. I'm not in my garage, so I don't have the lube to put on this uh, rubber grommet here. So make sure you put a lube in here before you install it. But like I said, time crunch, we have to get it done. It goes in. Nice and snug. Then we're just gonna snug up this top screw right here. Nice and snug. And then the connector for the ignition coil. Lock it. Alright, so this is good. That's it. So next we'll be changing this uh, vent solenoid right there. <laughs> 